You are about to learn how to download and install Optifine 1.19.1 with Forge 1.19.1 and how to fix any issues you might have along the way because I know some of you have some issues while installing Optifine and having it run with Forge and other mods. So yeah, make sure you watch this video until the end and let's get started with the tutorial. And just before we get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial, let me tell you real quick about Minecraft Apex hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, well, you don't have to look any further because Apex hosting got you. Right now, besides all the advantages that Apex hosting provides you with because they have a lot, you could create a Java Bedrock server with Forge Fabric. You could add Optifine, anything, any mod you want to add. They also have 25% off your first server, which I believe is amazing. I love Apex hosting because there's something really fun that I like is that you could actually access a server console through your phone. Doesn't matter if it's Bedrock, Java, you could access a server console through your phone and mess with your friends and troll them while you're away from your computer. And I think that's amazing. Anyways, once that's said, check that first link in the description if you want a server right now with 25% off. And let's get started with the tutorial. Well, step number one, of installing Forge with Optifine is obviously to install Forge. But before we do that, if you already have Forge installed and you just need to add Optifine, then let me tell you that it's really simple. Just go ahead and click on the third link in the description, download Optifine, right? We have a guide on how to download Optifine and add it to your mods folder, open your Forge instance and add it to your mods folder. But in this tutorial, I'm going to go more in depth and I'm going to show you how to actually install Forge, how to download Optifine and how to add it to that folder and also how to fix some issues. Click on the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install Forge. For those of you that like to read and see screenshots, that is there. But the main thing in here, once you click there, is to click where it says download Forge here. That is going to redirect you to the Forge website. In here, we're not going to click installer just yet because as you can see, it says 1.19. We are actually looking for 1.19.1. So just look here in the left and you see it says 1.19.1. Go ahead and click on that. That is going to bring you over here where we're finally going to click installer. Just always check what version you're looking for and select it. And then once you find it, click installer. That is going to redirect over here where in five seconds a button will appear in the top right that will say skip we're going to click that button let's just wait for that to appear and as you can see it's about to appear there we go go ahead and click on skip and that is going to start the download for forge or at least for forge the installer in my case it asks me where i want to save it but for you it's probably going to download automatically as you can see here in the bottom left i already have forge and i'm going to go ahead and drop it into my desktop go ahead and drag and drop forge into your desktop once it finishes downloading there we go and now we have forge well we haven't installed it yet but we need to download optifine how do you download optifine well you guessed it i have a written guide we have a written guide on how to download and install Optifine. Go ahead and click on the third link in the description. That will bring you over here. If you want to see the screenshots and read through it, you have it. But the main thing here is to click where it says download Optifine. That is going to redirect you over here. And when you come over here, there is a big chance that it has been updated. And instead of looking something like this, it looks something more like this. Like you come over here and it says Minecraft 1.19.1 download already. But in my case, it says preview versions. You're going to have to click there if it still says that. Go ahead and click in there and you're going to download it here, right? But probably when you come over here, that is going to be already there. And you're just going to click download. That is going to redirect you over here. Again, in five seconds, a button will appear in the top right. I already know that you learned this part because you're very smart. So once you see the button that says a skip, go ahead and click on that. That is going to redirect you over here where we're going to click download. That is going to start the download. In my case, it's asking me why I want to save it or for you it's going to download once you have Optifine as you can see I already have it go ahead and drop it into your desktop you can put it next to your Forge jar file go ahead and wait for that to finish downloading as you can see we still have that blue circle in there once that blue circle goes away and it should be there we go now we have Optifine and we have Forge now ideally we could already start installing Forge and then installing Optifine. But any Minecraft, at least on Java, any Minecraft above 1.16.5 would require you to update the Java of your computer. Don't get those confused. I'm talking about the Java, not the Java Minecraft. Yes, Minecraft Java runs on a software called Java and that software needs to be updated in order for modded Minecraft to work. How do you update that software? Well, first you wanna check if you already have it updated. Go ahead and click where it says type here to search and type add or remove programs. Go ahead and click on that. And here where it says search this list, type Java. As you can see, I already have Java 18, which is the newest Java available. But in your case, you probably have Java 7, Java 8, or maybe you even have Java 17. And if I'm not confused, Java 17 should work without any issues. However, I like to have my Java updated to the newest one, which is a Java 18. If you need to update your Java, right? Let's say you come over here and you see Java 8, or maybe you don't even see any Java at all. If you see any Java that is not the one that you want, 17 or 18, go ahead and click on it and then click on install. But if you come over here and you don't see any Java, what you're going to do is click on the third, no, fourth link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Java. Once you're here, you're going to click, well, you're going to scroll down and click on a button that says download Java here. That is going to redirect you over here. You're going to look for Java 18 or 17. Any of them will work. In this case, we're going to install 18. 
Go ahead and click on Windows and then find the x 4 installer. Click on this little line in here that is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it asks me why I want to save it, but for you, it's probably going to download it straight ahead. And then once you have this thing, JDK 18 installer here, go ahead and drop it into your desktop. And now we have the installer for Java. I know there was a lot that happened in there, but if you need to rewatch it, go ahead and go back, slow it down and rewatch it. Pretty simple. Now we have Java, we have Forge, we have Optifine. Are we ready to start? We're, we're almost ready to start. As a matter of fact, 95% of all of you are ready to start. But here's what's going to happen. Once you update the Java on your computer or once you install Java, if you didn't have it, you're going to need to fix the jar files in your computer. For example, I know 5% of all of you won't see this little cups in here. You will see something else, maybe some books or a little folder, something else, not these little cups, right? And you need to have those cups in there. How do you fix that issue? I'm going to show you real quick. This is for the 5% of you. The ones that already see these cups in here and don't need to fix this issue, then you can skip through this part. But I'm going to show you real quick. If you need to fix this jar files, go ahead and click on the fifth link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to run a jar fix in here you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on this button that says download jar fix here that is going to redirect you to this website where you're going to click on this line named jarfix.exe that is going to start the download for jarfix and there we go we now have jarfix we now have all the files that we need to perfectly install optifine with forge we can now close from the browser don't close this video because you don't want to get lost and now we can start well obviously the first thing you want to do is install java go ahead and double click on java 18 go ahead and click on the installer once you click on the installer it's going to prompt you with the administrator sign go ahead and allow it and then it's going to start the installation in my case it's saying you already have the software do you want to reinstall it i'm going to reinstall it just so you guys could see how to do it but i'm going to go ahead and click on yes but you're not going to get that you're probably going to get the installer straight away i'm going to show you how the installer looks in a second let's just wait for this to finish uninstalling and this is what you're going to get you're going to get this little sign in here where you're going to click next and then next and you're going to wait for java to install installing java should be super super simple and as you can see after a little bit java finished installing you could go ahead and click on close and you could even delete the installer i went ahead and deleted the installer and now this is the moment where we run the jar fix to run the jar fix is super super simple go ahead and double click on jar fix once you double click on jar fix you're going to get an administrator sign go ahead and allow it and then this is what you're going to get after that saying that jar fix runs successfully go ahead and click on okay and now you could even delete jar fix and now you're done you updated java and you updated your jar files these files in here by this moment you should see exactly the same thing i'm seeing these little cops in here now we need to start installing forge now before we install forge 1.19.1 make sure that you have run minecraft 1.19.1 at least once on your computer the vanilla minecraft and that you let it load until you see the main menu and then you could close out from the game close out from the browser and we're ready to install forge go ahead and double click on forge that is going to open this little installation menu in here you're not going to change anything unless you manually change your minecraft installation folder when you install the minecraft launcher back in the day whenever you installed it you're not going to change anything here you're just going to click ok once you click ok that is going to start installing forge installing forge is again a super simple process just like installing java or running a jarfix or anything else in this tutorial we're going to wait for forge to finish installing and i'm going to show you how to add optifine after you install forge you can not only add optifine but you you could add any Forge mod compatible with 1.19.1 after this, right? Because many of you will want to play with other mods and you could do that. Once Forge has installed, go ahead and click on OK. And now we could even delete the installer for Forge. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And now we're left with Optifine 1.19.1. What's next? Well, go ahead and open your Minecraft Launcher. I'm going to go ahead and open mine. And once you open Minecraft Launcher, as you can see, Forge 1.19.1 is selected automatically. That means that we installed it successfully. If it's not selected automatically, you could come over here to installations, make sure that mod is selected, click new installation and look for it here in the versions just scroll down until you find forge 1.19.1 as you can see it's right here and this you can name this installation whatever you want and then just click create here in the bottom right and that's it you're done creating an instance for forge in case it didn't show automatically here but for most of you 99% of you it will show automatically now what's next how do we add optifine well it's really simple go ahead and hover over where it says forge once you click on installations here hover over click on this little folder that appears it's going to open a bigger folder we can minimize the launcher for now and we're going to look for a folder called mods m-o-d-s as you can see i have the mods folder right here but chances are when you come over here you don't have a mods folder at all so i'm going to go ahead and delete mine how do we add the mods folder well it's really simple go ahead and click right click click new click folder and type mods done you already added a mods folder i know many of you wouldn't have it when you came over here to forge but now you do and in here is where we're going to drag and drop optifine go ahead and drop optifine in there we could now close out from this folder we could now open the launcher and launch forge finally to test out our optifine go ahead and click play and as you can see we're now on minecraft if we click where it says mods we could see that forge is installed if we go over here and click on options and we click on video settings we could see that optifine is showing because we have the shaders option and this menu looks a little bit different so that means that we added optifine successfully i'm 
we're still gonna go ahead and launch a world and see if we could see the shaders. And as you can see, the game has loaded. We have Forge, I'm in creative right now because I'm trying to get a nice thumbnail for this video precisely. But as you can see, we now have Optifine, we have Forge. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to download and install Optifine with Forge. I hope this tutorial was useful and as always, bye bye.